What's going on everyone? It is Ethan here with another video where today I'm going to be ranking and reviewing Michael Jackson's bed. So you know of course for the video I had to wear the bed jacket. I should have wore the thriller jacket in the last video but oh well. So yeah, bed is MJ's seventh studio album released back in 1987. So yeah, if you're new to this series or you haven't seen my last two videos, basically in this series I'm just going to be talking about the album, talking about all the tracks, and just my overall thoughts on the album. So first off, let's start with the album cover, which this album cover, like I don't know why, but this is my favorite MJ album cover of all time, like A++++. Amazing album cover. Like I just love the bad jacket and the outfit, like just, just everything about this. Just amazing album cover. So, Bad has a total of 11 tracks. So, well, let's get into it. So the first track, Bad, really, really great song, you know. The music video is amazing, you know. Of course, I love the jacket. Just, Bad is, it's kind of iconic, or not iconic, it's kind of ironic. It's called Bad because Bad is actually really good. So yeah, <laughs> next up, The Way You Make Me Feel, which is... One of my favorite songs on this album, just really amazing. The way it made me feel, like I love the video for it. Um, the live performances are really, really good. The only thing I wish were different about the way it made me feel, which this actually has to do with the live performance, not really the album. But I wish he sung the song live more often. But yeah, that's really doesn't have to do with the album. But yeah, next up, Speed Demon, which some people really don't like this song. It's probably like, uh, ever like if there was a poll, this would probably be the least favorite song on the album. But Speed Demon, I I enjoy Speed Demon. I really like it. I really love it in the Moonwalker movie. Like it fits best there. Yeah, just just overall, really really great song. And my favorite thing about it is the ending of it because it transitions into the next song, Liberian Girl. Which Liberian Girl is one of my favorite songs off this album. Really really amazing. Definitely in like my top three off this album. Liberian Girl is underrated. Just amazing song. Next up, we got Just Good Friends featuring Stevie Wonder, which this song is also kind of underrated. Like I really love the vocals on this track. Like Stevie's vocals are amazing. And of course, MJ's vocals are amazing as well. Just great song. Next up, we got Another Part of Me, which Another Part of Me, I love this version of the song, but... If we're being honest, I love the live version even more, like just the whole performance. And of course, Captain EO, amazing. So yeah, next up we got Man in the Mirror, which Man in the Mirror is a really, really great song. I really love this song. Just a great song with a great message. The only thing is, is like MJ didn't write the song, but you know, of course he believed everything that was being said, of course. But yeah, Man in the Mirror, still great, you know. This great message that people should still listen to today. Next up is I Just Can't Stop Loving You, which is a duet with Saida Garrett, which she actually co-wrote Man in the Mirror, for you guys that don't know. But yeah, I Just Can't Stop Loving You was the actually the first single off this album, but really great song. Like, basically this whole album is great, so like basically I'm saying the same thing, it's a great song, great song. But I Just Can't Stop Loving You is a really great. My favorite things about it is... Like, if we're being honest, I kind of prefer the Spanish version over the original. But, you know, both versions of the song are really, really good. Next up, Dirty Diana. Which, Dirty Diana is, again, another great song. Just overall great, you know, I love the rock, the MJ Rock songs, you know. In my last video, I was talking about, you know, how Beat It, like, wasn't really my favorite. But, Dirty Diana is superior and just overall amazing. Next up, we got Smooth Criminal, which Smooth Criminal, you know, is iconic, you know, with, to the live performances, to the video. Like, the music video is one of the best MJ videos ever made. Just overall, really, really great, iconic song. The last track on the album, Leave Me Alone, which Leave Me Alone has such a great message. If only the media and stuff actually listened. Like, Leave Me Alone is a great song. I really think that Leave Me Alone is a great track. But, fun fact for you guys, Leave Me Alone was actually not on the original cassette or vinyl. It was only on the original CD, which this is not the original CD, this is a CD from 2014. But, yeah, just fun fact for you guys. So, 
At the end of my other two videos, I showed you guys some of my collections. So, of course, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my bad collection. So, we got right here the original bad cassette, which, as you can see on the back, the last track is Smooth Criminal. No, leave me alone. So, yeah, this thing right here is pretty cool. It's I Just Can't Stop Loving You, like, from, like, a radio station or whatever. Like, there's no back to it. This has the little insert and the CD, like, demonstration only, not for sale. Like, basically, like, radio stations or whatever would have this, you know, to play on the radio. It's just very nice. Something else I have is, this is from, like, France, but it says, like, nine. It was basically, like, nine songs from Bad, like, little clips of it. Like, not really clips, like, snippets of it. We got Bad, The Way You Make Me Feel, I Just Can't Stop Loving You, Liberian Girl, Dirty Diana, Another Part of Me, Speed Demon, Smooth Criminal, and Bad. Basically, just, like, little snippets all on one little vinyl, which is... Really nice. And last but not least, we have the original 1987 Bad Vinyl, which, again, this album cover is amazing. And also, you know, it does not have Leave Me Alone. Very nice. We'll open it up. It's a gatefold with all of these nice pictures in there. So here's the back again. All right, so... The ranking for this album is number one in the ranking, so the ranking goes Bad, Thriller, Off the Wall. Yeah, this is my favorite album so far. Really, really great, amazing album. No skips, just overall amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe for more content. So yeah, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.